Welcome to the Elder Abyss Show. For talking videos, it's the place to go. Game tips, rants, tactics, and more. What you'll find here, you can never be sure. Hi guys, welcome to the show. This week's episode, we're doing Black Ops. Changing it up a little bit, I wanted to bring you a little bit of zombie action. I've been playing quite a bit of zombies lately. I've been having a really good time with it. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a it's a wonderful little addition to the game, and you can play it co-op with up to four people, and it gets crazy. <laughs> the the baseline zombie count is based on how many players are in the game. So when you've got a full four guys in the game, it gets out of hand. It gets plum crazy. I mean, starting at about round seven, you've got more zombies than you typically want to deal with <laughs> but this uh, this game here I was running solo currently on level or wave 22 I guess however you look at it I just wanted to bring you guys uh, a little bit of this because like I said I've been playing quite a bit of it lately and I've been been inviting various people off my friends list and, and some of my buddies to play this with and I keep encountering guys that they want to play it and have a good time playing it once they get started but right out of the gate they're not real familiar with with what to do and, and how things work in here. so I just wanted to maybe touch on a few topics for some of the guys out there that may not be you know real experienced with the zombies thing because honestly I wasn't until this game I hadn't played any, like, I'm, I didn't play World at War, so I didn't get any of the Nazi zombies there. So this game is my first experience with Nazi zombies, and it is, like I said, it's a lot of fun. I'm having a good time with it. So let's go ahead and cover a few things. First off, the traps, which is what I've got going on right here. you got to get the power on first, naturally, and I'll show you guys uh, where the power's at when I get back around there real quick, just so you're familiar with that location on this map. Traps are great. They cost a thousand bucks to set off. Be sure you're on the correct side <laughs> that you want to be on because basically each trap has two levers. And if you're not sure where the actual trap itself is, kind of look up and you'll see those lightning probe things somewhere there. That'll give you an indication of where it is. What you don't want to do is get a bunch of zombies behind you and trip the lever and have the trap come down behind you effectively trapping it you know trapping you literally between it and the zombies <laughs> trust me I've been there it's not it's not a good situation no it's not okay so you might want to just spend a little time you know if you ain't got an interest in tripping some of the traps and on these higher levels they are wonderful things but just get familiar with the direction you're moving in and which of the levers is the one that you want. You know, like, I said, like I said, you don't want to drip the wrong one. <laughs> now here I went to the pack-a-punch room and I wasn't paying attention because I didn't have the five grand that it takes to roll the pack-a-punch machine. So it's effectively useless. I've got one zombie down there and that grenade just pissed him off. Apparently didn't really do anything to him. <laughs> So I'm just biding my time. You're in the uh, you're in the pack a pack up punch room for I think it's 30 seconds you've got in there, and then bam, it teleports you out. But be aware of where it puts you. It puts you back out in that main lobby on the other teleport pad. Most of the time it's not a problem, but depending on how you're doing your circles or how you're pulling zombies, if you've got a lot of them and you came through this way, then be aware there could be some issues there when you when you uh, respawn or teleport into that room. Well, right here, yeah, bam, I made me a stumpy. <laughs> That's what you want to try to do. I, I start doing that, honestly, guys, pretty quick. I start leaving crawlers at about wave five, six, seven in that neighborhood. 
what that does is it gives you time to to go around and rebuild rebuild all your uh, your windows and doors and all that stuff. And it gives you some time to collect guns. I mean, I, I just like the little bit of breather, basically. So what you want to do or it, for the, a crawler is you have to use some type of explosive. Grenades work excellent. Just try to time it so, you know, for your best chance, try to time it so cook it and get it into a group of them. If you make more than one crawler, no big deal. More crawlers, the better, I guess. Right? <laughs> Depending on how that goes. But this stairway here, be aware of this thing. Never, never put yourself in a situation to get trapped in that stairway. That is, that is the death. And there's the power switch I was talking about earlier. So your first time through, if you come open the doors up the route I just came, then you're going to come into that side. And that power switch is on the wall right there. I was looking at it just a moment ago. And that will. That'll bring the map alive as far as the traps and some of the doors and, and the movie screen and all that and the turrets. Yeah, we're going to see some turret action here in a minute because I have a very specific purpose for turrets. I probably should use them more often, but the, the use I have found for them works really good for me. <laughs> Under situations. So here I'm, I'm just taking a little bit of the opportunity since I've got that crawler that's kind of just scooting along back there, rebuilding the doors. You don't get a lot of money for rebuilding the doors, but what you do get is time. And that time, you know, going back to that, that kind of leading them around the map strategy and keeping the zombies behind you, building those doors is, is really helps you doing that because when you, uh, there's only a certain amount of zombies that'll be in the map at any given time. Like I said, it's based on how many players are in the map. But let's say you got a, a big group of zombies behind you and you start killing them, well that opens up new spawns for zombies. You know, they're going to spawn in the room that you are currently in. So if you're you know, just kind of leading them around the map, but th that's cool. The problem comes up when you're doing that and they spawn in the room that you're in and you don't have the doors and the windows built up to give you that extra couple of seconds to kind of glide on by. Next thing you know, they're, they're in there on you and behind you. It doesn't sound like much, but that extra five, ten seconds, man, it can, it can mean the world of difference between, you know, kind of skating on past the room or, or that room being your final... Sir, <laughs> I don't know what to say there. <laughs> that room being where you get killed. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Shit. Oh, good times. There's my stumpy. You can always just jump over them. It's good. If you want to do it in style, you dolphin dive over them. <laughs> that's always a good time. And there's the mystery box, all right, uh, for anybody that's not familiar with that. You pop it. I think it's like 950 to open it. And you just get a random ass weapon. Got the HK. I, I think I've already opened it once. You guys may have noticed it before. And it gave me a ballistic knife. Seriously? Ballistic knife? <laughs> oh, ain't too bad. I got the uh, the dual wield. I can't remember the pistols now. One time last night. And I was out of ammo, so I took them, right? And then I hit the pack a punch room. And I, I thought, well, what the hell? I'll just pack a punch these two pistols and at least I have something decent. The well, next thing I know, I had Calamity and Jane. <laughs> it was like Christmas. <laughs> Those things absolutely tore some zombies up. Oh, that was a good time. Yeah, there's the turret. I about got sidetracked. The dogs, I love the turret for the dogs. Especially on these higher levels, the dogs get so freaking tough and hard. Do not die. The turret, it saves my life. Especially when I'm running by myself, I can't, you just, you can't watch all the angles. So the turret helps out a lot. It's 1500 bucks to pop it off, but well worth it in my book. Well worth it. Let's see. You know, oh, see that map right back there I'm looking at? I might have to go back and pause it. I, don't, I ain't gonna work up no, uh, nothing fancy in the, in the editing for it, sorry. But those maps are all over the, the uh, level. And it, once the power's on, 
that light on the map will indicate to you where the mystery box is actually located. You'll see there's another map right there beside that box. You're kind of looking at the floor and you can't see it. Sweet grenades. Look at these, man. I tell you, by the time you get to, to up to these levels in the game, you really almost have to have pack and bunch to compete. And right there, somebody got behind me, and I don't know how or if it was actually behind me or if it was one of those Nova crawlers at my feet, but I panicked. Done the worst thing possible. I run right back in to the guys who were following me. <laughs> anyway, guys, it was a good time. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Hell. I'm having a good time with zombies. I thought you might enjoy a few tips for some guys that are looking to try. Catch y'all guys later. Thanks.